I think the traits of an excellent teacher is always striving to be better, always striving to learn, and never forgetting about what it was like to be a high school student. I feel like in second grade, they still think school is cool. They are inquisitive, they're silly, and they just want to learn, they're sponges. What I like is when we introduce something different, we introduce something new, and they get excited, and then they also find a passion that they didn't know they had. The students know when uh, you're faking it, so, uh, and, and they need to know that you really care about them. Um, so um, just you're, you're in there f teaching day to day for them. In my age level, first grade, they're still learning how to zip and tie shoes and blow their nose and put their folder away. So you've got to have that maternal instinct where you're willing to have the patience and the wherewithal to take the time to do things right. I love the idea of teaching as a place where I could uh, use my own creativity and, um, and encourage the creativity of students as well. The relationships you build with the kids is, you know, you see kids that you taught five, six, seven years ago and they come back, oh, can I come back to your class? Um, they really keep you, every day you wake up and you know there's some kid that you're going to make a difference that day. I got my first job at the age of 21 um, and the rest is history. I, I've never been a, like sad a day in my life. I've, uh, teaching has always brought happiness to me. I would love to think that my students feel safe to ask questions um, and safe to make mistakes and, and safe to figure out their best path to success. Uh, I think an excellent teacher is engaging. They are kind, they are open, they are responsive, um, and they cater things to the needs of their students. Communication, energy, connecting with the kids, hu humor, um, knowledge of the subject area, and love of children. Kindness and teaching that and teaching relationships and peer relationships are, have almost always been more important to me, um, how students interact with each other. So they come in, you know, all over the place like middle school students do, like <laughs> crazy and everything, but we uh, kind of calm that down and make sure that they um, are guided with their thinking. I think building relationships with my students um, is one of the most important things that I do be besides the curriculum. Um, so we spend a lot of time talking, discussing, and um, you know, just building that community in the classroom. I'm hopeful that I teach my students not only about the Spanish language and culture, but about life skills and can be sort of a role model in some way. You know, I'd love to see them as they um, start to learn new things and the excitement that they're, that they, I see on their faces when they're learning. Um, and just as they grow, by the time they leave, they're just, it's amazing how much they've changed. And what's super fun too is at this point in the year, you can start to show them things back from September and October, and they're looking and they're starting to see their own growth and their own change, and they're really getting excited about that. That's fun to see. Every year when I go back, I'm, I'm excited, and every challenge that I get, I'm still interested in, and want to learn uh, to support my own curiosity, but also support my students. If you think back to your teachers that you had, um, the ones that made an impact on your life, they changed you, and they made you become who you're meant to be.